Oh my gosh, hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan, and today I have an Anime Midwest haul video for you guys. I got a lot of stuff at this convention, met a lot of cool people. I'm so happy. I just had so much fun at this convention, and I want to thank everyone who I met, all my crew, you know, Gigi, Melissa, Morgan, Val, Gwen, Sorry, everybody. Love you, Max, as well. You guys are awesome. So we have a video that's gonna go up later. You'll see that in the future on Morgan's channel. Go So go check out all of them. They're all amazing and awesome. But this is the haul video. So this is, these are all the things that I got at the convention. I got too much stuff, but that's just how I do it at conventions. I wasn't expecting to get so much and then I saw a lot of amazing deals, and I just couldn't stop myself. I just wanted to have fun, you know? So I guess we'll start with signatures, since that's the easiest to go through. Plus, it's on the top of my list. So, one of the first ones I got... I got to meet David Trosco, who is the voice of Georgie in Yuri on Ice. So I got him to sign my book. There it is, the Yuri on Ice book. Loved him, he was so sweet. Um, I really liked meeting him, and then I also got another boy from this series. I got Oscar Sung to sign my Sung Gil page, which is awesome! So now I have two pages signed by two voice actors from this show, one of my favorite shows. I love it, and I'm really, really happy that they got to sign this for me. They were both so sweet. Uh, Sung Gil... <laughs> Sung Gil! Ha! Oscar is a really sweet guy. He's a big panda bear. And I love him, and I love David, too. They were both so sweet. Everyone I met there was so sweet. I also got to meet Molly Cersei, who is the voice of Akame from Akame Got Kill. So she signed my DVD slip. Awesome. I love her in this series. She's so good. And this is one of my favorite shows that I watched recently. So very, very happy to have this. As I said, I met Oscar and David... And then I also met Alejandro Saab, so I got all three of them to sign my All Out case, which is awesome. I love this. They basically play some of the minor characters in the series, but I love them. I love them so much, so I was happy to get that because I want to get everybody to sign this, because All Out is one of my favorite shows. One of the first voice actors I met at the convention was Gareth West, who plays Itetsu in Haikyuu, and he was so sweet. He was so, so nice. So I got him to sign my Haikyuu slip as well, and you'll also see Greg Ayers sign the side there. He said Rolling Thunder. He plays Nishinoya, my favorite boy. So, uh, yeah, I was so happy to meet both of them. They were both so sweet. I've met Greg before. He's a nice guy. I actually got to run into him at the elevator on my last day. So that was really cool, getting to see him off and let him have a... Tell him to have a good day and have a good flight. That was really cool. As I said, I met Alejandro Saab. So I got him to sign my Kiss Him, Mutt Me slip as well. So that's one boy down out of four. Really, really happy about that. And I met Greg Ayers, as you know, so I got him to sign my trash. He signed my Diabolic Lovers set. i um, really, really happy about that. He wrote Wowie Yowie on there, which is so funny. He was such a nice guy. I like this guy a lot. He's so sweet. Another one of my favorite voice actors is Morgan Berry, and I got her to sign my Overlord set. She was really great in this show. I love this show. And then she also signed me this postcard of uh, her main character in Riddle Story of the Devil, so that was really cool. I'm gonna get this framed, because I love her. I love her so much. And then I also got my Riddle Story of the Devil box set signed by her as well, so there it is, Morgan Berry. Loved her. She was so nice, so sweet. Just, just an all-around good person. I also got to meet Chuck Huber again. I've met him before in the past at Yomacon, and he signed my Psyche K set. Really, really happy about that. He was super nice, super funny. He's always funny. And then, this will probably be in the vlog somewhere, maybe, but I got the I Know Kusabi set, and I got him to sign it. Oh my gosh. So this is the first, one of the first yaoi anime dubbed in English, so that's awesome, and he plays one of the characters in the show, which is crazy. Um, and I was really happy to get him to sign that. I was the second person to get him to sign that. 
which is awesome. But I found this at the dealer's room as well, and it was um, a really amazing price. It was a really amazing price. It was only $15 on Blu-ray, and what's cool is the DVD set was $20, so I bought this as fast as I could before the seller realized that. Really, really happy to have this. Can't wait to watch it. Let's see. This one's kind of sad because it got a little messed up, but I met the character designer of one of my favorite series, Penguin Drum. So I met Terumu Nishi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Terumi Nishi. She was so sweet, so she signed it on the bottom there. It did get a little smudged, which is unfortunate. I didn't blow on it before it dried. I just put it in the the sleeve too fast. I was really, really tired that day. I was exhausted. I stood in line for like an hour for her signing. And she was really nice though, but I just, I, it was, I was too tired, you know me. And then this one is really, really special to me. As you know, if you've seen my video about this series, I adore this series. So I got Lucy Christian to sign my Welcome to the NHK set. It's kind of hard to see her signature on the camera probably because it's dark, but she was really, really sweet, and I absolutely love her character. Um, it, it's, it's one of the shows that saved my life, so I had to get that signed by her. And then the last thing I got signed was the Princess Tutu set signed by Lucy Christian as well. She was so nice. I'll insert a picture of her here too. She was just the sweetest person. Everyone at the convention was so nice. Okay, I guess we'll do anime now, since we already showed you the yaoi that I bought. I found some amazing deals at this convention. Usually I don't buy anime at conventions because they're, like, retail... Not retail price, but, like, list price, which is so expensive. But I found a bargain section where they were selling anime. You could either buy one for 15 or two for 25 And I made the most of this deal. I was so happy. So, the first thing I got was an OVA that I've been meaning to watch for a while. This is Wild Cards. I think my friend Blaze told me to watch this a while back, and I never got around to it, but I really, really wanted to. It's an old OVA. This is a, wow, US Manga Core release, so that's cool. Um, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know if I'll like it or not, but this was super cheap, $12, so can't beat that. I also picked up another really rare OVA. I got Gestalt, which is from the creator of Loveless and also Earthian, which I also have. And this, again, was $12. I had to get it. It has a, a decent discard. It's from Anime Works. Uh, this is an older release, too. It's an hour-long OVA. I am really excited to watch it. I think it's dubbed. Maybe not. No, I don't think it's dubbed, actually. I'm not sure. Well, it says bilingual, so I guess it is dubbed, but I'm really happy to have that. That's a rare one. That was $12, and then this one is a newer one that's $12. It's Time Bokan, the OVA series from Sentai. I believe this is like a Go Nagai show, if I'm not mistaken, sort of, or a Tatsunoko show. I really, really want to watch this. I've heard good things about it. Is it dubbed? It is English dubbed, which is really great. I'm really excited to watch it. I've heard it's great. And again, $12. Can't beat that deal. I also got another Blu-ray. I got The Princess and the Pilot, which is out of print. This is from NAS America. I have been wanting to watch this movie for a while, and I just, just didn't want to pay the money for it. But this was $12 in the bargain bin. Crazy what you find at conventions, right? And Blu-ray, too. That's insane. I also got Genshiken Season 2 in this bargain section for $12. Really, really happy. I've been wanting to watch this show for forever. It has some pretty awesome discard, too, in there, too. I want to watch this. I'll probably start watching it soon. I just have been wanting to watch this for years, and I never got around to it. I've heard it's really, really funny, though, so I will do that in the future. And then probably the best deal I found in this bargain section, which was crazy, again, $12, two for 25 basically, I got Cat's Eye, the complete first season on DVD. So yeah, I got Cat's Eye on DVD as well. This is the 36 episode uh, DVD set, and it was $12. <laughs> 
This originally goes for like 40 on right stuff, I believe, maybe even more than that, which is just insane to me. I had to get it. I've heard good things about it, so I wanted to watch it. So that was the first amazing deal I found. The second one, I cannot believe I found it. It is a really out of print OVA series. Actually, this is the movie version. It is Eight Man After on DVD. This was $15 on DVD. It's crazy. I found this on like eBay for like $100 and more. So I can't believe I found this. Um, it's from Streamline Pictures. Unfortunately, it is damaged. I don't know if you can tell, but the actual, like, where the DVD goes is broken, so it might fall out, um, but the disc is okay. So I'm just, I'm really happy to have this because it's so out of print and hard to find. This is dubbed, I think, possibly. I haven't watched it yet, so I'll let you know if I like it in the future, but really happy to have found this and now all my animals are here <laughs> anyway really happy to have that that was a steal and then i also found the first season of genshiken on dvd there too not for twelve dollars for a pretty good fright price though um so i'm really happy to have that now i can start watching the series and then the last anime dvd i got there was a last minute purchase i got the suki kage ron dvd set from bandai this is out of print hard to find and I got it for $35, which is crazy! Oh my god, I can't believe I found it. This is a series I've been wanting for years, and it's just so expensive online. I just I just had to get it when I could. It was so cheap, too. Like, that's less than a normal DVD set that goes for right now. So that's crazy. I just hope that these discs work. Um, I looked at them, though, and they seem to work. So I'm really happy to have that as well. I believe that's all of the anime that I bought, which is a pretty decent amount considering I never buy anime at conventions, or hardly ever anymore. But I just couldn't pass up those deals, those were amazing! Some other miscellaneous things I got, I got this plushie, I actually got three plushies. So one of my favorite series right now is Osamatsu-san, so I got this really adorable Ichimatsu sushi plushie. I love it so much, it's so cute. I just couldn't pass it up. Ichi is my favorite, so he's going up on my bookshelf later. Love him so much. I also got a Jushi Matsu plush in this Japanese attire. I love him so much. He's so cute. I love his crazy face. Love this so much. And I had to get the last one. I got another Ichi. Oh, you can't see his eyes because his hat. Another Ichi in like a Sherlock Holmes style, or is this a prison hat? I think this is a prison outfit, but I really, really like this. I love the blushy cheeks. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but he has blushy cheeks, and he's so cute. So happy to have these. I don't know if they were worth the price. They were, they were okay, but I just had to have them because they were so cute, and I never find... Osamatsu-san stuff anywhere. Let's see, I guess we'll keep going with plushies. I did find this adorable Mikun plush from How to Keep Your Mummy um, in, a, in the artist alley. An artist made this. I don't remember who it was. If I remember, it'll be in the description. But she was so sweet. She makes plushies, and she made a lot of really, really adorable ones. She did Cowboy Bebop plushies and different plushies of different kinds. I really like this. This was so cute. Also in the dealer room they had some keychains and I got a lot of really cute keychains there. I got this cute Victor keychain which is super adorable. I love it. This was the cutest one they had. It's in his like bathrobe outfit. I got a Daichi keychain as well from Haikyuu. I love it. And then this Nishinoya keychain which I might already have. I might have already got this, but I don't know where it is, so I got another one. Then in the artist alley, oh, I do have a card for this one. Thank you. I love when the artist puts their cards behind their things. I got this bookmark of Grell. This is a sparkly, cute bookmark. I really like it. I had to get it. And this is from Farah Yu, um, also known as Ram Yu. Her Instagram is ramu12, and she has a store envy, so I'll leave her links down below. She was super sweet. Uh, here's her cute little business card being right here. 
So cute and pretty. I love her art. I think I got something else from her. Let me see if I can find it. I guess we're going into art prints now. I <laughs> got a lot of art. Um, I believe I got this one from her. I believe. Did she put her card in there? I don't know. She didn't put it in there. Oh, yeah, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, so I got this growl print from her as well. So there it is. So, so pretty. Love it. It's so red, just like her. She's so great. I also got to meet Justice Suda as well, who Britt uh, met at Anime Detour, I believe, a while ago, which is so cool. So I got this Sogaleo and Lunala print from her. Her links will be down below as well. So, so great. She got me the Digimon print, or Britt got me the Digimon print from her a while ago, I think last year. And unfortunately, I put something on top of it and ripped it, sadly. So I still have it, of course, but it's just not in perfect condition. So I did get a second copy, just so I can have a clean one, maybe frame it and put it on my desk. So I got that too, as well. Sorry, Britt, that was all on me. This next one, I'm not sure who the artist is. I know that it was a present from Val, though. She bought this for me. It looks like the artist is... I can't even read her signature. Anyway, she got me this really, really pretty Devilman Crybaby print. I love it. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. And the artist even signed it in the corner. Very, very awesome. If I find the artist, I will leave their link in the description below. I like doing that. I'm sorry if I didn't, though. It's been a crazy day. I also managed to find this awesome Osamatsu-san, well, this booth that was selling awesome Osamatsu-san art. So I got this one. I, I know the artist's name. I have a book from her. She is Den Pesai. Den Pasai. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but her links will be below. I got this beautiful Osamatsu print from her. I love it. It's so pretty and so nice. I love the shadows and the shading on this. It's just beautiful. I love this show. It's so goofy and crazy. I just love it. And then she also drew another one. And this is also in her book, in her fan book. So here it is. With all the brothers from Osamatsu san slash kun, and then you even have the two, uh, I don't remember their names, but the Shea guy and his friend in the corner there. It's been a while since I've watched the show, I can't remember their names. But yeah, I did find this cute uh, fanzine kind of compilation comic book. It's uh, called Tree Climbers from the same artist. So there you have it, that's the, the cover, and the back's really cute with the I think those are the Osamatsukun suits, or rather they're... Yeah, I think that's Osamatsukun. Um, but anyway, it's a really, really cute comic. It has some really, really great art. I'll show you a couple pages. So here you go. Beautiful, beautiful art. I really like the artist. She really captured the style, as well as making it her own. I really like the style in this. It's just beautiful. Look at little Toddy. Oh my gosh, she's such a baby. I love her. I have so much crap around me. Oh my god. Also, I'm sweating. Holy crap, it's hot in here. I hate my apartment. <laughs> From the same artist, she also did this really cute Yoamushi Petal comic. It's a, I, I guess you could call it a yaoi. It's a, it's a, it's a really, really cute, um, innocent yaoi about um, Jinpachi Toto and Maki, Makashima, sorry. And it's so cute. I just love the art. It's just so pretty. She's such a great artist. Check her out. I will leave links to her information down below. I think she's on Twitter, so you can check her out. I got this super cute Yurio print with the kitty cat. He is so adorable. I love him so much. I'm not sure who the artist is. I forget, but it's so cute. So, so cute. I forgot. I also got this super cute a sticker set from Dan Passe as well. So there are all the boys there in the stickers. They're really, really cute. I'm not sure where I'll put them. I don't know what to do with stickers. I uh, I guess I'll find something. Maybe I'll put them on a bag or something. But they were so cute. This was a present from Melissa. It is a Haikyuu print. It is this one. It's so cute with Hinata and Kageyama. 
I love it with the angel wings as well. They're so, so adorable. Or not angel wings. Oh, they're like, they're like crow feathers. That's beautiful. Beautiful art. Thank you, Melissa. And then this last artist, I got a couple more prints from her. Oh, yes, thank God. I was hoping I didn't lose this one. This is another Yurio print. It's so, so sexy. Look at it. Look at him. Look at the bastard. I love him. And this is from the Welcome to the Madness um, OVA kind of thing. And I love it. It's so, so great. The same artist also did this really, really cute fruits basket print and I don't have any art from fruits basket so there we have it it's so cute look at Kyo he's going crazy I love him I love him so much he's so angry at, at the at Yuki I love it so cute there was so much cute art at this convention really really amazing thank you to all the artists the same artist also oh man oh man I'm getting attacked by art the same artist also did these really cute glasses cleaners, like micro, mi microfiber cloth. So here's one of Yurio with a bunch of cats. And then I also got an extra one. This is uh, Victor and Yuri and Makachin. So that's super cute. It's awesome. I will leave her information down below. She is wonderful. She was super sweet. We talked for a little bit, and she was just so nice. So please support her if you can. I'll leave all their links down below. I also got these really cute buttons as well. I couldn't stop myself. They were too cute. So I got this cute Kristoff button. I, I've, I actually cosplayed as Kristoff, so that was really fun. That was cute. And then I got this Yamamoto, I believe. Yamaguchi, maybe? I think. Yes, Yamaguchi from Haikyuu. As well as my best boy, Nishinoya. Yeah, he's so adorable. And this was like a deal, buy three, get one free or something. And I also got Shizuo. So that was awesome. Really, really, really cute. I loved her art. I'll leave her link below if I can find it. I'm still really tired from my flight, so I, I will try to find it. But it was so nice to see her. She was so sweet. I also got this really cute... Um, Kiki's Delivery Service Clear File at Kinokuniya. We went to Kinokuniya in the Asian market. That was really fun and cute. I love this as well. I also got this really cute Pikachu, Pikachu bag to carry my stuff in because I needed a nice tote bag because my bag that I originally took was like a really heavy leather bag so I wanted to carry this to make it easier for me. So that was cute. And then I also got Gundam 00 playing cards. I just couldn't stop myself. They were so so nice and just awesome. I was so happy to have them. I'll show you a few of them, but I won't go through all of them. There is Exia, just randoms. I think that's Kyrios or Arios, maybe. Um, I keep showing you all the Gundams. There's Saji, nice. I just really like these cards. There's Ribbon, or not Ribbon's, uh, Graham Acre. Really, really cool. So that was really fun. I finally have my own set. I don't think I bought a set before. I think Britt was the only one that got one. I might be wrong though. I might have a set somewhere, but now I for sure have one. All right, and that is everything I got at Anime Midwest. I got so much stuff, way too much stuff. A lot of good deals, a lot of great artists. You know me, I can't stop myself at these conventions. I save up for them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. What did you get at Anime Midwest if you went to it? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. What have you gotten at your recent anime convention? I'd love to hear from you about that because I love talking about what people get in halls. It's so much fun. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And please, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy!